Walter Russell believed that everything is light. This can be linked directly with the equation energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Light will radiate out in all directions, forming a sphere, and the three dimensions of our everyday life. All we have to do is place the Lorentz contraction of space and time between the energy and mass. The greater the energy, the greater the contraction of space, and the slower time will run. Mass will increase relative to this, and each reference frame can be seen as a vortex in space and time. The brackets represent the boundary condition of the reference frame formed by the energy, and the infinity symbol represents an infinite number of reference frames that make up our universe. Walter Russell's theories on the universe are very beautiful. His ideas and diagrams represent an alternative to mainstream physics. His idea that we should think of matter as motion with what he calls retarded time, which lengthens its periods in a ratio in which matter appears, is very profound and similar to the time dilation in Einstein's relativity. Could both men be trying to explain the same dynamic process, but using different words, explaining it in different ways? Walter Russell's vision of a cosmos based upon twin opposing electromagnetic vortexes is a very elegant theory. But could Walter Russell's electromagnetic vortexes be the same space-time vortex that NASA Gravity Probe B found around the Earth? Mainstream physics has used NASA's Gravity Probe B to confirm the correctness of relativity, but they have no understanding of how this space-time vortex is formed. Relativity is very elegant, but it only explains the geometry or curvature of space-time, but it does not explain how the gravity is formed. Only a deeper understanding of time and how it is formed could answer this question. The rest of this video explains a theory on how objects slow the rate that time flows relative to their own energy or momentum, forming their own time or space-time, therefore creating their own future uncertainty within their own reference frame. Walter Russell's vision of a twin opposing electromagnetic vortex could be here seen as a vortex between the future and the past within a process of continuous creation. This theory is based on Einstein's theories of relativity and a deeper understanding of quantum physics, but I believe anyone who has studied Walter Russell's work will find a deep similarity, for it explains a creative process on a level with the destructive process of atomic physics. In this theory, the quantum of quantum mechanics is a unit of energy that we see and feel as the flow of time itself. Time is continuously being formed photon by photon by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light waves of electromagnetic radiation, a process of continuous change, continuous energy exchange, forming the future uncertainty of everyday life. This uncertainty can be seen mathematically as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum physics. This might sound mad, but the probability function that forms the uncertainty principle also forms the movement of electric charge, forming the flow of electric current with electrical potential. In this theory, electrical potential and the individual's future potential are the same within their own reference frame. The most advanced part of this universal process is in the form of electrical activity in the brain being able to comprehend and measure this process as the flow of time with a past and uncertain future. This process is totally universal and interactive, from the largest object to the smallest creature, right down to the smallest element of the periodic table, will slow the rate that time flows, forming a curvature of space-time relative to its own energy or mass. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light, we will be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic light waves continuously. 
This forms a great dance of energy exchange, forming a process of spontaneous and continuous change that we see and feel as the aging process and as the flow of time itself. In this theory, gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. Objects just free fall towards the greater mass or energy because it has the slowest rate that time flows. The second law of thermodynamics falls out of this theory, the organization for the spontaneous disorganization of entropy is formed by the spherical symmetry of the quantum wave particle function. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms the flow of time with photon energy cascading down forming greater degrees of freedom for the flow of entropy. We have an infinite number of reference frames within our universe and because light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent each object or observer will have their own reference frame with their own future uncertainty as time unfolds photon by photon therefore an observer can look back in time at the beauty of the stars in all directions from the center of their own reference frame this is because they are forming their own space-time by collapsing the waves of light into new photon oscillations forming their own future potential. An artist will take energy and time to create a work of art because the atoms of the hand and eye have bonded together forming the movement of electric charge creating their own potential future. Creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder in this theory.